My name is Bill Breck. Uh, in 1943, I was serving on uh, 198 Squadron, and Royal Air Force Typhoon Squadron. Uh, at the time, my best friend on the squadron was Flying Officer Harold Freeman, uh, behind whose grave I'm standing. Uh, Harold was killed on the 24th of May, 1944, in an attack on a German radar station on the French coast uh, near here. The circumstances of her, his death are, are interesting. Uh, Harold was leading a section of four rocket-equipped typhoons whose job was to uh, destroy uh, the, the German radar station on the French coast. Um, two aircraft went down uh, during the attack. Freeman's and the other um, aircraft was flown by a pilot officer, Vallely. Now, the two survivors of the attack, when they got back to base, reported that there'd been a mid-air collision, which was presumably the cause of uh, Freeman and Vallely's aircraft going down. After the invasion um, on the American sector, uh, some three German prisoners were captured and interrogated. And it turned out that they um, were um, uh, operating the German radar station that was the subject of the attack. They were not in the station at the time, uh, but observed what had happened. And uh, their report was that Freeman's aircraft, after it was apparently damaged, was uh, seen to fly straight into the radar station, blowing the radar station and uh, Freeman himself to smithereens. And they described this as a very courageous act that he had uh, uh, done. Uh, their belief was that he knew that he was fatally uh, injured, that this aircraft would not continue to fly, and that he deliberately attacked the radar station with his own aircraft, deliberately flew it into the radar station to destroy it, which was the object of the exercise. Uh, the report of the interrogation of the Germans reached the commanding officer of uh, the wing. Freeman was on, a group captain, Scott, a distinguished New Zealand fighter pilot, and Scott recommended Freeman for the award of the Victoria Cross for his valor on that particular day. The uh, recommendation went up the line and seemed to alternate between yes, no, yes, no, and finally when it reached the top level, sadly, the decision was no. It, the circumstances are such that the only, there are only two posthumous awards possible. One is the Victoria Cross, the other is the mention in dispatches. So Freeman ended up with the mention in dispatches. I think it's sad. I think uh, he should have been awarded the Victoria Cross, but um, that's the story of my good friend Harold Freeman. Thank you.